Thanks to modern technology, even huge ships can stay steady in harsh weather. What's more, skilled engineers have designed some ships to flip back upright on their own if they get overturned by waves. Join us as we uncover the incredible engineering behind these technologies and discover how they ensure safety while sailing the wild seas. You've probably noticed that even massive cargo ships weighing hundreds of thousands of tons stay stable even when faced with enormous waves. As ships sail on the sea, they encounter various forces and pressures from the waves and wind. To remain safe, all ships are equipped with a stability system, which helps maintain their balance while floating. So no matter how much the ship is rocked by waves or wind, it can always regain its upright position, ensuring its safety on the open waters. There are several devices used to keep ships stable, and one of them is called bilge keels. These keels have a wing or fin-like shape and are fixed on the sides of the ship's hull. They extend about two-thirds of the ship's length, and their stability effect increases as the ship goes faster. Another device for stability is the anti-rolling tank, which is a tank installed across the width of the ship. It helps stabilize the ship when it tilts to the left or right. When the ship tilts, water flows in the tank, significantly reducing the rolling motion. The anti-rolling tank comes in two types, active and passive. The active type uses a more complex mechanism with pumps to control water flow in both tanks. Then there's the active fin stabilizer, which looks like a fin and dampens the rolling or tilting motion of the ship. These stabilizers are installed in both sides of the ship's hull and can move in different directions, controlled by the ship's sensitive gyro system. When the ship rolls or tilts, the gyro system sends a signal to the activating system, which causes electrohydraulics. However, it's worth noting that active fins are not very effective when the ship is traveling at speeds below 10 knots, or about 18 kilometers per hour. Container ships are equipped with an anti-healing system, which is a servo control system designed to maintain the ship's horizontal position while loading and unloading at ports. However, it is important to note that the anti-healing system is not suitable for stabilizing the ship in open seas. Its purpose is solely for use during port operations when containers are being loaded or unloaded. The anti-healing system operates by detecting the ship's inclination angle and automatically balancing the ship by pumping water into the ballast tank from one side to the other. This helps to prevent excessive tilting during port activities. The components of the anti-healing system include the main control panel, pump start panel, and anti-healing pump. The system can function in both automatic and manual modes, providing flexibility to the crew in managing the ship's stability. It's crucial for the crew to consider the ship's balance points, which determine its stability magnitude. Neglecting these calculations can lead to accidents, whether the ship is at sea or in port. Therefore, maintaining a proper understanding of the ship's stability and implementing the anti-healing system correctly are essential safety measures for smooth operations in various maritime scenarios. After maritime accidents at sea, rescue ships play a crucial role in search and rescue operations, providing aid to the victims. However, these rescue missions can be challenging due to the harsh weather conditions and high waves, which may even lead to the ship's capsizing. To tackle this issue, engineers worldwide have come up with a brilliant solution – rescue ships designed as self-riding boats. These remarkable vessels could flip back to their original position even if they are turned upside down by 180 degrees. In addition to their self-riding capability, these boats boast impressive features such as high acceleration and the ability to withstand extreme sea conditions. Many companies manufacture such self-riding boats with one prominent example being the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, or RNLI, in the UK. Several critical elements contribute to the success of self-riding boats in regaining their upright position after a rollover. The first crucial element in designing self-riding boats is positioning all heavy equipment and objects as low as possible within the ship. This helps to maintain stability and balance during operation. The second key element involves creating a lightweight yet strong operational and control area for the crew. This space is filled with air to aid buoyancy. The access door for the crew must be watertight to prevent water from entering when the ship is capsized. Self-riding boats are equipped with a special pendulum system to keep water out of the ship's interior. 
When the boat capsizes, the weights in the pendulum system hang vertically, automatically closing all open sections and preventing water from entering. Moreover, these boats feature an onboard detection system that senses if the boat is capsized. In response, the system protects the boat by shutting down the radar and engines. Once the boat returns to its original position, the radar and engines automatically restart. Inside the boat, crew members must be seated and secured with safety belts to ensure their safety in the event of capsizing. There you have it, folks. The maritime industry has come a long way embracing innovation to make sailing safer and more secure. These cutting-edge technologies are truly the unsung heroes behind preventing even massive ships from sinking. If you found this video informative and fascinating, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Superstructures and as always, stay tuned for more incredible content.